Hey everybody, today I want to tell you about a pretty simple technique I've been using while color grading in Final Cut Pro. It's just been making it easier and more efficient for me. Let's get into it. So this can be used in Premiere Pro as well, and I have been using it in Premiere, but I know that a lot of y'all are using Final Cut Pro, a lot of you that have subscribed to me, so I want to stick to Final Cut. That's what we're talking about today. But first, we got to talk a little bit about DaVinci Resolve. So I've been grading a little bit in Resolve, and they use what's called a node tree. And I really like this because it allows you to apply different color changes to each node, whether that's white balance, exposure, saturation, or your overall look grade, and then go in and turn each effect on and off individually. So this has been really helpful to me because it allows me to go in and turn each effect on and off and see exactly how that specific effect is affecting my whole color grade. I like to do this because one, I like to see kind of how far my clip has progressed and why it's progressing in that way. But also if I'm looking at my clip, and I'm like, what's making that happen? What's making whatever thing I'm looking at that I don't like happen, I can go through, toggle all the effects on and off, see what's making whatever unpleasing thing is happening, and then go to that specific effect, make the necessary adjustment, and I'm good. It's also just a really great way to organize. I feel like generally in Premiere and in Final Cut, when you're just tossing effects onto this one clip, it gets very bunched up, it gets very unorganized. So it's really nice to be able to look right at this and be like, oh, that's my saturation node, that's my contrast node, that's my exposure node, and that's my look grade node. And there is a reason that I only do those four. I'll tell you about that when we talk about how to do it in Final Cut Pro, which is what we're gonna do right now. So I do this in Final Cut by using adjustment layers. And just to pause, Final Cut does not come with adjustment layers installed, but if you don't already have them, click this link up here, go watch Ryan Nangle's video, Video, download some free adjustment layers and he'll show you how to install them. It's amazing. What a, what a great guy. So from here it's pretty simple. I'll bring in four different adjustment layers and then I'll name them whatever effect I'm going to keep on that adjustment layer. So in this case it's going to be saturation, white balance, exposure, and then the top one here is going to be my look grade. Now the reason I do those three specific settings on the bottom is because that's what I would consider to be color correction as opposed to color grading. Those are the three parameters that I need to do on every clip pretty much individually unless they were shot exactly the same. I want to go through my whole timeline and make sure that the saturation, the exposure, and the white balance are pretty similar on all the clips so that I can just take one long look grade adjustment layer and do all my tone curve adjustments, my hue versus saturation, hue versus hue curve adjustments, any kind of stylistic color grade. And the hope is that by color correcting all of the other clips to look pretty much the same, that I'll just have to put that one big look grade over the top and not do much else. Now sometimes you will have to go back in and make adjustments to specific clips, but that's where what we were talking about earlier comes in. You can go in, turn any of these on and off, see how it's affecting the clip, and make whatever adjustments you need for that specific clip. That's how I've been using it, and also we can scroll over here to see a clip that's already been graded with effects on it. So we have all four of our adjustment layers right here, saturation, white balance, exposure, and grade. Um, I'll turn those all off, and then we can look at how it's affecting this clip. So saturation first, mostly just because this is a Cine 4 clip, so it's a little bit more flat. We'll throw that on there. Then we'll turn on our exposure. Then we'll do our white balance. Then we'll do our color grade. Another way I like to utilize adjustment layers when I'm color grading is really just having two, one for the color grade and one for the base correction. So I'll just put all of these settings just on one called base correction. And at that point, it's just an organizational thing for me. I'll stretch both of these over all the clips, cut them as I'm going, as I'm editing. So you can see right here, that's the base correction and it's doing a lot of the heavy lifting I've realized on this clip because it's it's a flat clip so you want to get in there and add the saturation, add some contrast with the exposure. But yeah, in the end, I really like doing one of these two ways. I feel like it gives me a little bit more organization, especially if I'm grading a longer video that has different sequences with different color grades. It's very refreshing and very nice, especially now that I've seen the node system in DaVinci, to be able to have some type of organization like this. Because otherwise, it would be one blank clip with all of these unnamed, I mean, they're named, but they're really just the tools, the wheels, the curves, the saturation curves, a lot of just effects just stuffed up in the corner. And Premiere does the same thing, so I just like having some kind of organization, and I'm not even a very organized person, so. I think it's gonna become a running theme that my background light just turns off because I get so into the video, and then it dies, and then, okay, we don't, we don't need the blue background all the way through the video. It's really just for the beginning to like impress you and be like, wow, he has a, a light. 
<laughs> All right, thanks so much for watching y'all. If you like this video, if you learned something, be sure to hit the like button down below. Also make sure to hit subscribe if you wanna see more. I have a lot of free time right now, so I'll be making more YouTube videos. You know why. To be real, I hope you are doing well in this really weird time and thanks so much for watching. See ya.